welcome to a new vlog and voiceover. Today we starting off in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, <laughs> where I went to go visit my sister girl and we did some event planning. Say hey to the vlog, Danae. Hey, <laughs> One valuable thing that I learned about friendship is that they come in many different shapes and forms and for Danae me and her from the very beginning just always had a very strong connection and we just decided to explore what a friendship looks like in collaboration and sisterhood so I'm very grateful for her and the time that we spend together and I'm super excited to be putting on my second wellness retreat with none other than Miss Danae. Trying something else here today. Here's a quick little panoramic view of the inside, and it wasn't really a long wait. All right, my first thoughts was it's super cute in there. They had good music. The menu is pretty versatile. Um, I got a Philly cheese steak, fries, and a lemonade. I'll show y'all. I'll try to remember to show y'all when I get to the crib. So I did not attend Dreamville, but I decided to go by this Amazon Music Festival event that was free to the public. It was really cool and just interesting to see so many people gather around for music and art, which I love. Not sure if I mentioned this before, but it is my birthday month. And so I love giving myself luxurious experiences as a Taurus. I also love to eat. So this is my first time coming to this restaurant glass house and it's located in the rtp area it's kind of in the cut but very exquisite experience very beautiful inside um food was amazing i'm gonna insert a clip of what i had which was the lobster flatbread pizza and yeah 10 out of 10 would definitely go back hey guys um where do i start first of all why am i not in the frame Let's, for starters, let's get me in the frame. I'll be right back. Okay, almost there. There we go. This is ghetto, what I just did. Hold up, we cricket a little bit. That's good enough. Um, What's up? It is Thursday. Almost the weekend, and I'm ready, child, because I'm tired. Every single day, every day labor. I'm gonna insert that clip so y'all know what I'm talking about. But your girl is tired. Having everyday labor. I'm just a hard worker. I've worked for 15 minutes. I'm resting. Um, I went and let me get off Instagram while I'm trying to vlog. I just got home. I did a little shopping at Target today. Um, I might insert a, insert a clip of some things that I got because I got some real cute stuff on sale we love a sale um and yeah i wanted to get up here and talk a little bit just about um an experience that i had last week in class um i had an experience where something came up for me that i felt the need to vlog about so i was in class and we were just talking about this is my community community and organizations class. And we got on the topic of hometown heroes and what we experience when we live in our hometown. And um, for some reason, I got very, very triggered during this portion of the class. And I actually, dis um, not decided, I started crying. And it took me back to a day in undergrad when I knew that I wanted to create my support group for survivors of sexual assault. And I just wanted to bring that up today, not to get into a super traumatic um, story, but just to say that one of my favorite quotes is healing is not linear. And I feel like over the past week, I had my dose of you think that you are over something and then one little thing can take your memory back to that moment and you could be triggered all over again. And I've sat with those feelings for the last couple of days um, because it just hurt so bad. Like it, it hurt me to think about my time in Greenville, North Carolina, um, because my last couple of years there were not good. And I did not have a lot of fond memories. And I think that trauma has blurred my 
vision of the good memories that I had. And so when I had to dig really deep to figure out why I could not think of things, it dawned on me that like trauma really represses things in your memory and it really fogs your memory. And I was reminded of that in a very un traditional way um but i'm glad that i experienced those emotions and i've been able to process it with my therapist and yeah now i'm here telling you guys about it so uh the main reason why i have this channel is to talk about my journey overall and healing from traumatic experiences is a big part of my journey and so i wanted to just throw that back in here to let you guys know that healing is not linear and with that being said we're gonna keep on keeping on um, I have a wellness retreat coming up. I have another coffee and consent event coming up. I'm hoping to get better footage of it at some point. I don't know. We're going to see. I might need a videographer at this time because I don't be having time to be behind the camera the whole time while I'm trying to facilitate. Like, it just, like, how that's supposed to work? <laughs> I be so focused on, like, trying to be intentional and be present in this space that it's hard for me to try to get footage of that too besides small little clips on my story and whatnot but we're gonna try it again next week honey um next tuesday i'm having another event so we'll see how it goes other than that i'm gonna head on out because i need to do some homework i might hop back on and show you guys what i got from target but that's all for now see y'all later oh yeah my voice don't mind it. Allergy season is kicking my ass. And so I'm a little hoarse right now, but that's okay. Makes for a little character. But yeah, I'll see y'all later. Bye. Alright, let's get into the let's get into the Target haul. I'm not trying on this stuff because I already did that one time today at, at the store. But I just wanted to show y'all a couple of new things that I got. Um sports bras. Uh active wear in general was about I think 30% off today uh, for the Circle app deal. Um, so I got some, I got two sports bras, some shirts. We wear pink on Wednesdays. And I got this other brown shirt that says, oh, not this one. But here's another little cute little tank that I got that was like, I believe, $7. Um, the panties were on sale. The Alden um, brand was on sale. Buy three, get two free. So I got some panties, which I'm not gonna show y'all because it's kind of weird. I got this other little cute lavender tank that was between like five and seven dollars. Um, I said I was gonna show y'all the panties, but yeah, the panties are right here beside me. So let me move that. Uh, oh, I got this cutie little activewear skirt, honey, that I can't wait to prance, prance around town in, cause it's cute. Um, I got some soap. This soap is normally $11.99. I believe it's on sale for $8.99 or $9.99. The Saltier brand, love it. It smells so good. This in Native brand, are my two favorite soaps. I got some hand soap for my bathroom. Um, another brand I really like, that's called Raw Sugar. Um, what else did I get that I actually don't mind showing y'all? Hold on. I got these little cute activewear pants. Um, let's see. These panties. I got some EOS um, shave cream for my legs. Let me try that out. I got some hand sanitizer. These glasses I'm gonna try on with y'all. These didn't come from Target, but they came from Sheen. Oh, wow. Yes. This is cute, honey. This is the other pair. Yes! It's giving birthday vacay. Oh, remember last time I was telling y'all I'm getting to the point where I have to have like organizers for everything. So 
I bought another one of these organizers to put in my drawer. Um, let me show y'all how I utilize it. So I use one for like panties and then I use other ones for like my folded socks. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about that, honey, cause I love me a little drawer organizer. Also got some like makeup cuffs, even though I don't really wear makeup, but when I'm doing my face care, I can not have water dripping all down my face. So it came with a little wrist cuffs, the headband to slick your edges back and some brown um, beauty blending brushes and pads, which are gonna come in handy. Um, let's see, what else? I think that's about all I got today. Oh, got some socks. See, new socks for my sock container. Um, I think that's about it or all that I'm willing to share. So yeah, that was just my little Target haul. And I saved a whole lot. Like, oh, the face steamer. That's the main important thing that I got today because my allergies are cutting the fool. So I bought this face steamer. Um, it was on sale for $23. And I'm hoping that it helps relieve my congestion from my allergies because the pollen been doing this big one on me, babe. So yeah, um, my room behind this camera looks crazy so i actually need to go clean up <laughs> which is what i'm about to do because i don't want to go into the weekend with a cluttered up space um so that's what i'm gonna spend the rest of my evening doing cleaning up um doing some research and trying to really finish up on my last couple assignments for the semester because baby i'm tired as i said before and i'm ready to be free i'm ready to be on a break for sure but yeah, um, I don't know where I'm going to end this vlog off, if I'm going to include the event here from Tuesday, but I might just combine it all together. So we'll see. But if not, I'll see y'all in the next vloggy vlog. Bye. Hey guys, so I was going to attend a food truck rodeo today, but my body was just calling for rest. So I decided to stay in, well, go out, get some groceries and prepare for the upcoming week instead of spending money at the food truck rodeo. So let me share what I got from Wegmans. Got a lemon, a couple pieces of fresh salmon, because I plan on making this pasta dish. Um, I got some raw almonds, salad mixture bag, some hydration waters, um, also got some kale um, for the pasta that I'm making. It's like a green pesto pasta. And the sauce is made with kale, almonds, nutritional yeast, or cheese. So, also um, chips and dip. And some butter. That's really all. I thought I, for the amount of money that I spent, which was like $68. I thought that had way more, but I don't really got much of anything. And that's the life that we live right now. So yeah, it's Sunday and I'm trying to rest and reset and get prepared for the week ahead. I also got a red pepper. $68, this is crazy. You would think that I had like, Anyway, um, I am trying to be more attentive to what my body needs. And though I wanted to go and be in the streets with my friends on this beautiful day, my mood was just off. Um, and I'm trying to like strengthen my immune system back up because allergies are not my friend during this season. So I'm staying in and doing a little bit of self-care maintenance if you will 
um so yeah i hope you guys are having a great sunday i have dishes to wash back there i already washed my clothes for the week uh i already washed my linen made my bed back in my floor so i'm halfway there i just need to get the the kitchen order and prep some food so that i can try to eat at home more during the week I will catch y'all in the next section of the vlog. Hey guys, today is Monday the 15th. Um, I have a work coffee date, so that's where I'm headed to right now. Did not get any other footage on the coffee date, but it was very productive nonetheless. And finally, also did not get footage of this event, but I did get footage of me setting up in preparation for the event to start. This event was very special to me, and I was super excited that one of my oldest friends that I've known since the second grade was able to come out and join. And I'm just very excited and grateful for the space that I'm creating here throughout um, my brand. So I look forward to sharing more with you guys. And I'll see y'all in the next vloggy vlog. Bye.